you know, I was just in New York, and New York is an incredible city. I, you know, I lived in New York for 23 years. Okay. Um, New York is still the best city in the world, and the city's changed so much, but I feel like New York is going to come back even stronger. I was in New York after 9-11, and I, felt, I feel the resilience of New Yorkers. I feel the resilience of the city, and that resilience has given me such a sense of hope and possibility. And so, I don't know, I just, I... It's a scary time right now, but it's also an opportunity spiritually to grow. And um, I, there was a lovely man that I got to see when I was in New York, um, who is um, who's just, yeah. <laughs> you know, Laverne, it's very funny. I said, somebody asked me uh, in California, um, so what's New York like? They said it, it was very, it was grim. What's New York like right now? Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, New York, do New York does what it does. This is what New York does. It, yeah. it suffers, and then it picks itself up and puts its pants on and keeps going. And that's, like, what New York is doing right now. It's just going. It is and it's so inspiring. Can I tell you how inspiring it is as someone who's been in L.A. but is still a New Yorker at heart, that that gives me the strength to know that I can put my pants on and I can move on, too. Yeah. That we can all, that each and every one of us, even though it's really difficult right now, we can do the same thing. And, again, that's why New York is the best city in the world.